Hey, thanks for joining. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us and hear us. Let's begin with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I'm grateful to always start with the Lord's Prayer. Uh, it seems strange to continually pray this prayer over and over, and though it is an excellent prayer, and of course the words of Jesus Christ are better than the words that we ourselves can muster. Uh, these seven simple petitions, they encapsulate so much of our lives, not just our lives as individuals, but shared together. Uh, it, it gives us a way to express our hope and to, and to ask God to be a more, a more important and deeper part of our lives. Not that he isn't those things already, of course, but that we welcome him. And that, that attitude or that posture, our relationship to God uh, as one's desiring his presence, uh, it's so important. And a, a perfect way to begin every day, a perfect way uh, to begin our prayers, such that when we don't have words uh, ourselves and we don't know how to pray as we ought, which the Spirit uh, does promise to intercede for us, but the Scripture tells us like, we're going to have those days. When we have those, those days and those times where we're not sure how to pray, maybe because of despair, or maybe simply because we just feel prayed out. Those times happen. We have the words of our Lord Jesus Christ instructing us how to pray in a way that is pleasing to God and that, uh, that God is pleased to say yes to us. Oh, what a wonderful gift. Well, let's continue uh, by confessing our faith using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. And on the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And now let us pray one of the appointed prayers. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept us this day and graciously protected us. We beg you to forgive us all of our sins and all of the wrongs that we have committed this day. By your great mercy, defend us from all the perils and dangers of this night. For into your hands we commend our bodies and our souls and everything that is ours. Let your holy angels have charge over us, that the wicked one may have no power over us. Amen. And let's pray for one another. It's always a great joy to be able to pray uh, for you. And uh, we, of course, here at Trinity, covet your prayers. I speak not only for myself, but uh, for the balance of the staff as well. Uh, we, are, we are in this together as a church. And uh, the truth is that we know, um, we know many of the ways that you guys struggle. Um, I, I hope that you understand that uh, all the staff members, you know, they have the same the same struggles, the same uh, uh, challenges and difficulties. And uh, just as you have uh, work that you have been called to uh, by our Lord, uh, the means through which you bless uh, your neighbors in your community, and we are grateful to God for those, those callings, those vocations, uh, so too have they been called. And they serve you 
uh, so well, so tirelessly, uh, always willing to do something more, always willing to load their plate up uh, with a bit more. Um, it is not something that they should, uh, I suppose, seek uh, glory for themselves, but one that I'm uh, very much honored to be able to give glory to them for the sake of. Uh, we have a wonderful staff here, and, and I do uh, uh, hope that you pray uh, continually for them, that you continue to pray not only for the church, uh, but also for our call committee, uh, which uh, will have met last night uh, for the first time as we seek out an associate pastor for Trinity. Uh, we would covet your prayers uh, for that endeavor as well. Uh, for we have one desire here, to continually seek God's will, uh, to be his ministers here in Ashland where he has placed us, uh, that we might, we might share the love of God uh, for the work that we do uh, and what we participate in here as Christian people is nothing other than life-saving uh, and eternal life-giving work. And every time that you uh, pray, every time that you share the word of God, every time that you comfort somebody uh, with a word of scripture, a word of hope, uh, in Christ Jesus. You participate in that work, and uh, it's a wonderful joy to share that. We participate in a miracle together. Uh, it's pretty special. So with that being said, why don't we pray for one another? Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you uh, that you, Lord, uh, you have seen fit to call us your children. And as such, you have not simply called us into the family and left us alone, but you have blessed us with so many good things not only uh, the benefits of your salvation, but the benefits of a life uh, which is better than the life we would have chosen for ourselves apart from your spirit. It is in this life, Lord, that we desire to do your will. And we know that that will consists of loving you and our neighbor. But there are so many ways that we, that we engage in doing this through our vocations, our callings, that is through our work. We ask that you would bless us in that work. You call us above all, above and before everything, to be uh, in your family, Lord, to be Christians, to bear your name. Help us in that calling as well, to live lives that are pleasing to you, Lord, uh, and that serve our neighbors. For when you came to dwell among us, you took the form of a servant, uh, showing us the path that you would have us uh, trod. Give us courage and strength, and also the wisdom and gifts necessary uh, to follow your leading. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray uh, to you for our earthly lives, for the needs that we have. Uh, we pray that you would continue to bless us as you have. But Lord, uh, we pray for a blessing all the more. That we would not only have our daily meet, uh, needs met, which, of course, you commend to us to pray for uh, and teach us to pray for. We pray for abundance, not uh, for the sake of sloth or gluttony, Lord, but for the sake of being uh, able to be a material blessing to those around us. We know that there are those whose needs are not met in this life. We pray that we might be used uh, as your ministers to reach them, to bless them not only with uh, those gifts which are eternal, for those are free, but those gifts, Lord, that are costly here on earth, that our lives uh, may spill over to be blessings in the lives of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as we uh, prepare to celebrate, uh, to celebrate the birth of your Son, remind us of what you've done in this. You have come and, and, and taken on flesh. You have, have given us your only Son, Lord, one place uh, where all of our hope may reside, all of our future may reside, that is the gift of the only Son. Lord, help us to turn our backs on those things that, that, that sparkle, that draw our attention away from you, that we might focus on the one true gift that we have received in Christ and forsaking everything else, Lord, follow hard after him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray to you for those we know who are in need of your help, uh, for those who are in need of healing, Lord, but for those who are in need uh, of comfort as well. 
Lord, there are people uh, who need help and healing. We pray that you would guide uh, doctors and nurses uh, to bless them. We pray that if it might be your will, uh, you may even miraculously work in their lives to bless not only them with healing, but your people with faith that you are a God of miracles. Lord, we pray as well, uh, asking that for those who have lost, that you would uh, bring healing to their hearts. Uh, for the pain of loss uh, is not only a tragedy, Lord, uh, but a true suffering. And there are so many who have lost. Lord, we pray that you would bless them, that you would strengthen them, that you would make them whole again. They do not yet feel whole. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for all of these things, Father, and of course, uh, those things which burden our hearts, uh, and yet we are just not quite capable of putting words to. We pray for the intercession of your Holy Spirit, that, that you would interpret um, our sighs and our frustrations, our groaning uh, and our pain, that your Spirit would make known to you everything that we desire, Lord, um, but we pray that you would grant us not only those things, but everything that is needful. We pray these things through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Well, friends, uh, may God bless and keep you this day. Uh, may he make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you. Uh, may he show himself to you today, revealing himself in, in, in a place where you did not expect to find him. May your eyes be open to see him when he reveals himself. Uh, friends, receive that gift today. And until I see you again, may God bless and keep you.